Everyone say, I love science! And Jordan! Today we're gonna see what's inside the tin experiment. Let's open it up. Here's the tin experiment that we're gonna do today. Here's the VR headset for when we're done. Let's take a quick look at what's in the starter kit. Here's the plastic cups. Those are the stoppers. Here's the um, stand for the stoves. That's the flame diffuser. stove. Um, then there's the macro lens clip for your smartphone. Uh, that's the syringe. Um, that's the beaker. And that's the flask and the um, funnel. Insert one of those top thingies. Let me 
you can see how we need to insert the we close it with this one. Now you fill this halfway. <laughs> Step two. Now submerge a piece of a more active metal, zinc, zinc, in the tin salt solution. As a result of a substitution reaction, some zinc will dissolve into the solution, while tin will pre precipitate on the sur on the surface of the zinc pellet in the form of lovely needles. The tin hedgehog is pretty cool. Now let's check out the tin dendrite. That sounds fun. For step one, we need NaHSO4 and SNCO2. We need to pour a bottle of NaHSO4 into SNCO2. For step two, it says the solution will not coat the surface of the petri dish well. To make the liquid distribute evenly, we need to, to decrease its surface tension by adding some liquid soap. Jordan, you help in? Pour one bottle. You help in? And we'll pour the liquid soap on it. For step three, it says wow. place the electrodes into the solution. Now we put the batteries in here. Do you want some batteries? Connect the electrodes ah. to the ah. source of electric current. No nah. batteries. I'm gonna do <laughs> Ten. These tin experiments are really cool. I like how the tin changed the shapes when it went in the chemical reactions. <laughs>